Hello and welcome. I'm JRF, and this is my concept for a new card type for Hearthstone. So as you may or may not know, in the latest expansion for Hearthstone, Blizzard added a new card type, namely the Hero card. And so for the first time since the beginning of Hearthstone, we have another card type other than weapons, minions and spells. And that's what inspired me to create my own card type, the Glyph card. And so here is what the card itself looks like. So much like the glyphs from World of Warcraft, it looks kind of like a scroll and the art is surrounded by a glass socket. I'm really happy with the result, uh, I think it turned out great. And of course there are nine different iterations of the glyph card, uh, one for each class in the game. So by now you might be asking yourself what a glyph card actually does. Well, here's an example. Raven form, a druid rare glyph that reveals your opponent's top card. So the way a glyph works, or the idea behind them, was that they would add a passive effect to your hero. So in WoW, glyphs would passively alter your spells and thereby also your gameplay. And I wanted the glyph card to resemble that in Hearthstone. So once you play a glyph, a socket will appear underneath your portrait in game to indicate to both players which glyph you currently have in play. After that, the passive effect of whatever glyph you just played will be activated. Now this passive effect will remain there until the game is over or until it's destroyed by either you playing another glyph or if your opponent runs a tech card, such as a minion with a battle cry that says destroy your opponent's glyph, for example. Here's another glyph. Fell Funnel, a warlock common that makes it so that whenever you discard a card, the mana cost of that card will be restored as health to you. Now it's no secret that uh, Blizzard has been, uh, with recent expansions, pushing this mechanic further and further, and so with the ideas of the glyphs being that they alter your gameplay and passively aid whatever plan it is that you're going for. So say you're playing discard lock, your plan is obviously then to discard cards, right? So the idea of the glyphs is to help you push that even further through these passive effects. Uh, another example of a glyph here, Veil of Dusk. Uh, the rogue legendary glyph. Whenever you cast a spell, shuffle a copy of it back into your deck. So, I don't claim to be a good designer by any means. Some of these effects are probably completely broken and would need tweaking. Uh, but just keep in mind that these examples are just that. Examples to help get my ideas across. One way that you could kind of balance it out would be by making glyphs such as these where you give your opponent a glyph with a negative effect as long as they have it. So it would destroy their glyph if they have one in play, while also giving them a negative effect at the same time. But these are all, as I just mentioned, just ideas, and I would love to see other people's feedback and maybe even their own ideas for this card type. And if you're interested in seeing some more examples that I came up with using glyphs, Check out the Imager album in the description of this video where I made 4 glyphs for each class, one of each rarity. Um, so check that out if you want. And with that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching.